she's done. A federal appeals court just gave Hillary Clinton chilling news, well deserved. In the wake of keeping up a moderately low profile for a couple of months following her election loss, Hillary Clinton has put herself and people in general lie again with her questionable memoir and different explanations disparaging of President Trump. In any case, even as Clinton endeavors to concentrate the media's consideration on her new book and political attempts, she's winding up confronting recharged interest for past outrages. The watchdog group Judicial Watch has expressed that on Friday, it is taking part in a federal appeals court hearing with a specific end goal to drive the legislature to discharge a prosecution drafted against Clinton amid the scandalous Whitewater controversy in the 1990s. The United States Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit is hearing an oral contention identified with Judicial Watch's 2015 demand and a lawsuit under the Freedom of Information Act FOIA. Following two years of holding up, Judicial Watch is, finally, being given an audience, which means the coveted Whitewater-related archives may, at last, be released a choice that could reveal new insight into Clinton's association and the very advertised extortion conspire. The case being referred to is titled Judicial Watch v. National Archives and Records Administration. National Archives and Records Administration, NARA is an autonomous government organization that jelly reports and records. Be that as it may, NARA looks to keep mystery draft prosecutions composed in light of the claim that Clinton give false data concerning her association with Madison Garandy Savings and Loan, whose misrepresentation-powered ruin brought about a few criminal feelings and eventually cost citizens $73 million, as detailed by the LA Times. Referring to Clinton's personal privacy, NARA has denied discharging the records. In any case, Judicial Watch attorneys contend that an enormous amount of grand jury and other information from the independent counsel's investigation of Clinton has already been made public. Subsequently, Judicial Watch claims there is no secrecy or privacy left to protect. Accordingly, the watchdog's announcement approaches NARA to discharge all duplicates of the draft indictment. Legal Watch is looking for all versions of referring against Hillary Rodham Clinton, including but not limited to, versions 1, 2, and 3 in box 2250 of the Hickman Ewing attorney files, the HRC slash underscore draft indictment in box 2256 of the Hickman Ewing attorney files, and in addition any adaptations composed by Deputy Independent Counsel Hickman Ewing Jr. before September of 1996. As the New Yorker notes, Hickman Ewing was the chief deputy to Kenneth Starr, the independent counsel appointed to research the Clinton's inclusion in the fall of Madison Garanty. As indicated by the Washington Post, Clinton worked for the Rose Law Firm, which gave lawful administrations to the illicitly financed Castle Grand construction project led by Madison Garanty head and Clinton business accomplice Jim McDougall. Clinton asserted to not have worked for Castle Grand. Yet, Ewing had issues with the previous First Woman's announcements, prompting him to draft an arraignment of her in 1995. He flowed the prosecution draft among his associates in Starr's office, however never took it further. Presently, Judicial Watch wants to perceive what Ewing penned and what it can inform Americans regarding the Clinton's part in a noteworthy political scandal. Regardless of whether Americans will see the reports is up to the government court to decide. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below.